Today we'll be doing backward figure eight. It's a horizontal figure eight. Is this down? So it's two movements in one. You really want to engage your oblique muscles and the psoas muscles right here. That's attached to pubic bone to all the way to the spine. You're going to just do some hip slides side to side. And we all have different range. So if you're very tight, your range, your hip slide might be really small, and that's fine. The more you do it, the more you'll gain flexibility. So side to side. So your knees are not locked. They're soft. They're not really bent, but just a soft bend. Slide, 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 slide. Good. Now let's add a twist. So you're going to twist your right hip to the front and switch. So front to back. And the other one goes the opposite way, obviously. And then you twist, twist, twist. Again, I'm not, my knees are not locked. Now you're going to put those two movements together and that's going to make your back a figure eight. So I want you to slide your right hip to the corner and then twist that hip towards the back. Left hip to the corner, slide and twist. 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 Slide and twist back. Slide and twist back. Let me face the back to you, same thing. You're going to twist the hip, first you're going to slide and bring it back, slide to the corner, bring it back, one, two, three, four, slide, bring it back, slide, bring it back, slide, bring it back, slide, twist back, slide, twist back. You really want to hit those corners and bring it back. And you're drawing a nice figure eight, horizontal figure eight, with your hips, And this is your horizontal backward figure eight. Ah, it's like the batting side. Okay. <laughs>